What's going on, Cancer? How are you doing? Hope you're doing super well. This is the Autistic Mystic, and this is going to be a reading for the week of January 23rd to the 29th, 2023. So in this reading, Cancer, we're going to take a look at your overall general energy, some things you do not see coming, and also get some advice from your angels and spirit guides and much more regarding this week for you. But before we begin this reading, as always, I do want to take a moment cancer to let you know that you are very welcome here in this space with me as we move through this reading and i really do appreciate you in advance for taking the time to check this reading out now if this general reading happens to resonate with you cancer definitely smash that like button subscribe down below if you have not already for future updates that would also be greatly appreciated over here cancer so as you can see i am rocking the mystic merch so uh, big announcement, I've just dropped the Mystic merch line, my first m merch line, and uh, Cancer, I think you're going to love it. So click the link in the description box below, and you can cop your Mystic merch. It is fire, and it's a great way to support the channel and look good. So I know Cancer likes to look good, but uh, anyway, let's go ahead and get into this reading and see what wants to come through. I'm going to pull the energy and see what wants to come through starting now. Cancer. As always, I would like to thank the angels, the interdimensional beings, and the spirit guides who are overseeing this act of divination for the sign of cancer. How many are there? Wait, which way did they come out? Yeah, this way? Yeah, I actually feel, okay. Okay, Cancer, let's start this reading off for you for this week with some pre-shuffled oracle cards from the universe. What frequency do you need more of in your life this week? The first energy that we have is uh, confidence. And you see the eye is standing out to me, that eye of the tiger here. So being confident is going to be very important for you this week. I feel there's also a certain level of uh, not settling for anything less than your worth. And this is definitely for a lot of you to do with your career, but also for others of you in your relationship. Something happens this week where you go within. Um, basically something happens this week that you're saying, I'm not feeling this anymore. I'm not, there's something, I don't know what this is. We're going to have to see as we get through the reading, but something happens this week where you're just like, you're not putting up with it anymore. Someone could be, uh, mistreating you, or you just feel like you're getting the, the crappy end of a bargain and some sort of, um, deal that you have with a person or relationship or something. But here's the thing also, this is actually, a. This is actually one of the most powerful laws in this whole universe that I'm going to reveal to you right now, Cancer, about confidence. Um, in this reality, it does not matter if you're objectively right or wrong about what you do in this life. All that matters is that you believe you're correct. Let me repeat that. In this reality, it doesn't matter if you're objectively right or wrong about anything. All that matters is that you believe in something and that will translate into results for you in whatever area of your life. And uh, that actually can be quite dangerous in certain degrees. But what I'm telling you, Cancer, is a lot of you right now in your life, or you may have been searching, what is the right thing to do? What is the thing that will resonate with people? You just have to find the thing that's right for you. You just have to find the thing that will resonate with you and stop worrying about will it resonate just what resonates with you it doesn't matter if you're objectively right or wrong make your choice make your selection this is what i want this is what i resonate with and then it will be confirmed on the outside the, the reverse is like 
I, some of you are getting into the pattern where you're trying to find the thing that's outside that's good. Oh, this, you know, so it doesn't matter if you're right or wrong in this reality. If you believe you're right, that's all that matters. Now that's dangerous because sometimes you do need to like get a reflection from the outside, you're wrong. But that's just a little bit of a secret that I revealed there. Um, you also have moving forward. So moving forward, Cancer, you know, you see the foot here. So putting one step, one foot in front of the other towards your goals, like having the confidence to move forward in your life. Some of you could be traveling this week. Some of you, there's just a lot of moving parts for you definitely this week here. Um, so don't have, you know, don't fear moving forward in some sort of way, you know. Um, and sometimes moving forward looks like moving backwards and you also have higher purpose, all right? So this week, it's definitely important for you to tune into what your higher purpose is because as you tune into what your higher purpose is in this life, that's really how you create abundance because abundance follows value. You know, how can you offer the most value in this life? And that always in, is in alignment with your highest, your highest purpose. All right, so just be aware of that. Now, um, your opportunity this week is the nine of cups. I'm getting a very individualized energy here. Also, the nine of cups is the card of synchronicity. There's an opportunity for you to pay attention to synchronicity in your life. And I'm honestly getting that there could be a little bit of negative synchronicity. The universe is gonna be giving you signs through numbers, through music on the radio, through some sort of weird subtle energy that it's really important that you pay attention, pay attention to and then act on those dictates. The nine of cups as well is especially if you're, um, some of you are burdened by some sort of responsibility or there's some sort of interpersonal relationship situation where don't be afraid to be very selfish this week. And we're going to have to clarify, but the nine of cups is about putting yourself first. Okay. So don't be afraid. Like if you've made a commitment and you feel like someone's wronging you, you may have to be very selfish this week. Okay. Um, and then your challenge is the seven of pentacles though. And so there's something about um, potentially you walking away from something that you've invested in for a long time. For a lot of you, this is going to be a relationship, but the seven of pentacles in your challenge as well is about like harvesting. A lot of you may be in a position where you're planting a lot of seeds in your life right now. And the day that you plant the seed is not the, day, is not the same day that you eat the fruit. So we're going to have to see what this is about cancer, right? Why the seven of pentacles is your challenge. Um, you may not just be like receiving the fruits of your labor. You're still like putting in that work. So um, just because it's not happening for you now doesn't mean it's not going to happen for you. Um, so there is something about playing the long game. But here's what I'm saying, right? So we're going to have to clarify what this is about cancer. I do feel like there's a shakeup in how you make money or your career, a change to that. Um, and you're going to be going within this week. So your overall general energy this week, and these were all jumpers, is the five of pentacles, the hermit, and also the 10 of wands here. There is some sort of thing that comes up that's starting to become a burden for you that puts it that pushes you within yourself right you know the, the question to ask yourself is like what are you what weight are you carrying that doesn't really belong to you you're gonna have to go within and, and really ask yourself that question for a lot of you this is going to be with someone that you're dealing with in a dating situation or a love situation you start to realize this week that oh this isn't making me happy okay, this is not making me happy. You feel burdened by some sort of love situation. But for a lot of you, this definitely has to do with uh, your physical whereabouts. Some of you, this is going to be the place you live or the career that you're dealing with. You have the five of pentacles this week. So the five of pentacles is like being on the outside. You know, it's it's, it's an energy of, of almost like being kicked out. So some of you, the universe may kick you out of something that you're not actually meant for anyway. Like for some of you, and this is not for all of you, it's like some of you literally like the frequency is like, oh, I got fired, but who cares? Thank God I never have to go back there again. Like something like that, especially if you feel like there's some sort of unfairness or whatever. All right. So just be aware of that. And this could be subtle for others of you, like just like making minor shifts to your career if you have something solid, right? But like not doing it the same way that you were doing it. Um, and then this is where like, when it comes to what you don't see coming, Cancer, you have the moon, you have the knight of swords, and you also have the eight of pentacles. So despite there being some sort of shakeup here, I do see you like a lot of productivity coming in for you. The knight of swords is a forward moving energy. It's someone who just like goes after their goals with gusto and speed. And they're walking right into that eight of pentacles. So a lot of you are going to be like almost getting a new opportunity in the physical world to work on something. Now you have the moon here, okay, which has to do with your subconscious mind is coming through as, and also like a lot of unknown and a lot of like weirdness going on. Some of you here, um, 
your intuition is, it has been trying to tell you something like this is not for you or this is just a temporary thing as well. I would advise you like whatever is going on in your reality, you have to have the courage to like understand that your subconscious mind is being revealed to you, right? The subconscious mind creates, it's the most powerful uh, predictor of what your reality looks like. And it's formed usually from the ages of zero to seven years old. So if you've always had like, if your parents had a crappy relationship or there was never a, your, your parents or you always were moving around, like there's something you may need to go in and reprogram this week. All right. So just be aware of that. But even though that's happening, I do see you still just like going forward with a plan that you have, if that makes any sense. Um, so it's interesting, right? We're going to have to clarify. But then when it, when it comes to, uh, your advice from your spirit guides, you have the seven of swords, you have the three of pentacles, and you also have the chariot. For those of you who have, for those of you, like whoever you're working with here, whoever you've been, I'm getting some of you got a recently, some of you recently started doing something new for business. You took on a side hustle. For others of you, you got a, a completely new job, or you started to expand something with the business, or you started to take on new responsibility at your job. It's a total scheme. That's literally what I'm getting. That's why the ten of pen, the ten of wands is here with the, the set with the five of pentacles here. The seven of pentacles being in your challenge. There's someone here. This is a boss at work, or this is some sort of mentor that you have, or this is some sort of um, some sort of engagement or situation that you have when it comes to your money or when it comes to your this week. You start to realize this plan is not like that's not the move. Like there's something about changing your plans. There's something about like. Um, you have like a, an, an overall intention, like I want to be rich or I want to make this amount of money. Keep that, that's what you keep. But what you change is the actual direct physical plans about how to get there. Because you also have the chariot here. And the chariot is all about, it's a vehicle to get you to where you wanna go. So no matter what you have going on right now, you are divinely protected, I feel like. But there needs to be like a move here <clears throat> because the Knight of Swords is walking in that Eight of Pentacles and then you have the Chariot here. So a lot of you need to change your career. I'm going to be honest, like the way that you're doing your career or the people that you work with or if you've settled for some sort of like, like if you recently just got a new job, it's like there's a, there's a better one out there for you right now. Okay, so you may have to find work elsewhere is what I'm getting. Now for others of you though, this definitely has to do with like you spending time with someone who just like talks a big game who doesn't like back it up like they say like oh i'm awakened or i'm you know i'm gonna be so successful and they're just basically talking crap and their habits are trash their subconscious mind is trash this is some of you who are dating this person or you're dealing with them like a close friend someone around you here i feel like you start to realize like the, you know, there's something about you getting negative, negative energy in you because of the person that you associate with, right? So just be aware of that. Um, especially if you're planning on a, like having a new business partner, I would be very careful about that this week about if someone's like, Hey, you know, kind of like suckering you into a D I'd just be very careful about that. I don't know. That's what I'm getting. Let's see why the nine of cups is here. Cancer in, um, See what the nine of cups is here in your opportunity for you this week, okay? So let's go ahead and see. So you have to have confidence to move forward, right? So just be aware of that. Let's go ahead and see why is the nine of cups here for cancer in your um, opportunity this week? All right, I mean, so the nine of cups is clarified with the king of cups, the three of pentacles, uh, the Knight of Wands and also the Seven of Wands here. Yeah, this your opportunity here, I, I, I feel there's almost like putting a boundary up, right? You have the Seven of Wands, that's what I thought, like saying no to something, but then you have this. There's something, once again, confidence moving forward and higher purpose. I feel like there's new people, there's new experiences that's meant to be in your life here. Um, there also could be someone else for you in love that I'm getting. So basically there's a switch. Like there's a switch to the people that you surround yourself with. For some of you, this is going to be work. Once again, the opportunity as well. Um, the Knight of Wands here. I, I I picked up on that. That there's someone. The Knight of Wands is usually it's coming through as someone else's energy around you, partially where someone's talking a big game to you. This is a boss that's like, oh, I'm going to promote you. Oh, this is the benefit of being with this company, and it's like, 
Yeah. Or this is a lover or someone, a friend, or for a lot of you, it is a lover who's just like, they, I'm sorry, they're just basically like, I'm just getting like lazy or I'm just getting like someone who's just like a waster, honestly. Or they're just like poverty mindset. I don't know. And then you have the three of pentacles and you also have the, the king of cups here in um, your opportunity. So once again, I feel like there's a new business partner. There's a new place to work that's actually heart oriented, heart based. There's some something heart based. And even if this is in... Um, if this is in love as well, I feel like someone around you is not heart-based. Like someone could be using you for your body or, and maybe you like that to a certain degree, but it's like, it's not, I'm telling you, like there's something off about this whole situation, whatever you got going on. All right. So just be aware of it. A lot of you have invested in this or you've made moves that's hard for you to pull out. I don't know. All right. So let's go ahead and see what the 10 of wands is here. Like, cause this, you know, the number 10 has to do with a burden and also an ending. So why is the 10 of wands here in your overall general energy here? A lot of you, it's like the frequency of being overworked and underpaid. And you can translate that frequency also into personal relationships. Like you're putting like this person that you're around in a relationship this week is benefiting off you more than you are off them. And you start to realize that, right? Someone is like getting the winning end of the deal by having your energy is what I'm getting. Sorry. All right. So why is the 10 of wands here in what you, uh, in, in your overall general energy? So you might just, this week, you might just take a step back that actually moves you forward. But let's see why the 10 of wands is here, Cancer, in your overall general energy. Yeah. Um, you, you have to have the strength to let something blow up and end, right? The tower is about an ending and you also have the strength card, which is about taming down the ego. There's something... I'm almost getting embarrassing about a situation. Like not that you're actually gonna be completely embarrassed, but this is one of those things where some of you literally just made a new business move. If you have a business, you just made the new move, you announced it, or you just got a new job and it's like your first week on the job, or it's you're, you're giving someone a chance in love and it's like you somehow moved in with them or you somehow invested into the situation. But just because, but the energy is get the hell out like strength to the tower to the 10 of wands here. There's something here where you're going to have to like understand like, okay, I thought this was the move. It's not the move. Conflict delayed is conflict multiplied. Like there's something about you realizing, oh my God, this is a crappy deal. I need to get out right now. All right. So also why is the hermit here? Because I just want to see like what's going on within. That's kind of like to the outside world. Something could end here. Like someone does something like, a uh, coworker, a boss, a friend, a, a lover, like says a comment that you're just like, what? You know, like someone could offend you. I'm getting like you almost being offended this week at something. So just be aware of that. And it's almost like, don't be afraid to like, uh, like sometimes in readings, if someone says something to you, I'm like, yeah, don't worry about it. Like it's just their thing. But it's like, you're, it's, if you're offended, like there's a reason you're offended this week is what I'm getting. Okay. So like your sensitivity is your gift this week. All right. Why is the hermit card here as well? Yeah. You have a snake, right? On the hermit card, you have that snake and then you have the seven of swords. I don't know. Why is the hermit here? Like there's one more. There's some sort of deception about a collaboration. This is you collaborating with someone in love or whatever the collaboration with other people is, someone's lying, someone's using you, someone's just being rude or something. The Hermit is clarified by the Two of Swords, the Six of Swords, and also the Nine of Pentacles here, Cancer. So yeah, this is you saying, I'm gone, bye-bye, and I'm going my own way. Even if it seems sketchy for a period of time, um, the Hermit is clarified by the Two of Swords and the Six of Swords. Once again, the Ten of Wands is the Tower and the Strength, and then you also have this uh, Nine of Pentacles energy. So you're making a decision to go on your own, right? This is more so this week for you about like, you may not know exactly where you're going in the short term, but you gotta get the heck out. That's at least what I see happening. All right, but then um, let's move to what you don't see coming. Let's see why, why is the Knight of Swords here? Is this is talking about some sort of movement that you're going to make, some sort of shift, a bold shift, right? Confidence moving forward in higher purpose. So that's what you're moving into, your higher purpose here. But a lot of times that has to do with like letting things break down that aren't for you. So let's see why the Knight of Swords is your cancer for you in um, what you don't see coming. 
because it moves you into productivity. Okay, yeah. The Knight of Swords is clarified with the Star of the Devil, and also the Knight of Pentacles here. Yeah, so this is some sort of healing experience, you moving forward in a new direction here. Some sort of renewal. You have a new option available to you. You also have the Devil and the Knight of Pentacles, so I see you kind of just like abruptly leaving any toxic situation, right? Kind of like abruptly. It's like very fast. This seems to be happening fast, and then you choose to, you choose to, like, to do something that your future self will thank you for. Right, for a lot of you, this does have to do with um, a lover because you have the devil, and so you may have experienced some sort of like sexual healing with someone, but then it's like you're not going to take it too far and you're going to get out when you have to get out, is what I'm getting. Right, um, and you choose to do something more practical, more like long term. Like, okay, so let's also see why. Why is the seven of swords here in your advice just to give you a little more insight into like why? what this could all be about. Why is this your advice? What is spirit letting you know about a sketchy situation involving other people with that three of pentacles? Something that you're learning may not be for you. Okay, the seven of swords is clarified by the... <laughs> The Seven of Swords is clarified by the Ace of Swords, the Magician, and also the Chariot. It's interesting because the Chariot is also here in your advice from Spirit. It's coming through as you getting the heck out of something. But the Seven of Swords, first of all, clarified by the Magician and the Ace of Swords, you, ca you catch someone who's tricking you. And it's just, it just becomes very clear to you. Like, yes, like the Magician, because it's next to the Seven of Swords, is coming through as like a trickster, right? Like someone who... Um, who promised you one thing and then does another thing. And it's just like, you're like, all right, well, time to embrace the unknown because that's better than this, right? So let's also just one more, the chariot. Why, because it came out again. Why is the chariot here in your advice from your spirit guides? But some of you, there's definitely a higher purpose as well. This, whatever is going bad, you have moving forward and higher purpose. This was meant to happen for you to accelerate your own higher purpose. There's something about you leaving with your head held high, you leaving with your pride intact as well. Something to do with that, because then it's like confidence will come from that. Why is the chariot here in your advice? All right, so there could be a lot of stuff contained within that since half the deck popped out. But hold on, why is the chariot here in your advice? Interesting, right? Yeah, it's just The chariot is clarified by your opportunity and then also the page of pentacles the knight of pentacles already came out So the chariots clarified by the knight, uh, excuse me the page of pentacles, you know Like doing the dirty work getting involved in something new. That's why the three of pentacles is also here you're just meant to collaborate with someone else, whether this be love or whatever, because someone's kind of being a scum. Um, and then you also have the five of wands here. So once again, higher purpose, moving forward, like embrace the new, embrace a new situation, because I think it's better than what you got going on. Even if you're intimidated by you're going to date someone new, or you're going to put yourself into a new job that seemingly is worse on the surface. There's something about like something was good on the surface, but deep down it's not. You might be have, having to put yourself in a new situation that seems just as scary as this one, but it's actually for your benefit and more. So with that being said, I'm going to conclude this reading, Cancer. I hope that this provided you clarity and insight, and I'll talk to you next time.